The Sun is a hot sphere of gas with internal temperature reach over 20 million Kelvin due to nuclear fusion process, where hydrogen is fused to helium. The Sun is made up by different types of gases such as hydrogen, helium, nitrogen and other gases. The Sun is divided into two parts, solar interior and solar exterior. Solar interior are core, radiative zone and convective zone. Meanwhile, solar exterior are photosphere, chromosphere and corona. The solar activity is usually placed on photosphere, which is sunspot and active region, and corona, solar flares, corona mass ejections, and solar prominence take place. The effect of the solar activity can be seen on satellite equipment, dangerous to astronauts and force them to take shelter, and cause breakdown to telecommunications, systems, and power grid. This is an example of solar flares affecting the satellite. The telecommunication such as ASTRO also affected by CMEs events or solar storms. Interferometry technique for antenna is when two or more antennas receive the signals or radio wave from the same astronomical object and then they join to the same receiver. This antenna is made from aluminium. We use aluminium because it has good conductivity and has very high resistance towards corrosion. Besides, the price is also affordable. These two antennas are connected to low noise amplifier or LNA to amplify the signal. And then, from LNA, it connected to bias T before connected to the spectrometer which is Callisto. Finally, the signal is displayed on the compatible PC. This antenna contains 25 pairs of dipole elements that has their own respective measurement. Those elements were cut according to desired specification. This antenna is suitable for use in radio astronomy because it was designed to operate over a wide band of frequencies. For our antenna, it will operate at a frequency range of 45 MHz until 870 MHz. This antenna consists of a series of dipole elements positioned along a support boom lying along the antenna axis. This antenna has a tapered shape where the size decreases gradually from the bottom to the top. In 2017, this project has been awarded Bronze Medal in Invention, Innovation and Design Exposition, IDEX. A year later, we have obtained Silver Medal in IDEX 2018 on a project titled Modification of Log Periodic Dipole Antenna and Automated PC Controlled and Monitoring Solar Radio Burst. Over the years, we have published more than 10 journal articles to variety of journals which is related to this log periodic dipole antenna project. A memorandum of understanding also has been signed between UITM with National Research Institute of Astronomy and Geophysics. It is an international collaboration as this institute is also involved in e network. The NRIAG has a very long history of astronomical and geophysical observation and it has been one of the World Heritage Sites in Science and Technology. We also have made a collaboration with Angkasa Malaysia whereby one of the LPDA has been built and placed at the site. A workshop on data analysis using e Callisto data was carried out on 23rd until 25th March 2021 as our research group assists in doing the maintenance and the data acquisition at the station.